Hey guys, welcome to Initiate Science Yeah, where science meets you. If you are new to this channel, then do press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon. There are three kinds of people in the world, the wills, the wants and the can'ts. The first accomplish everything, the second oppose everything and the third fail in everything. By giving reasons or referring to some incidents, state in which category you fall. Agree with the statement. Man has done impossible by sheer willpower. Meeting challenge in the essence of life. Examples from history. Qualities which put me in the category of wills. Optimistic outlook to life and opportunities. Never say die attitude. Value time. Self-motivation and desire to excel. Conclusion. We must not only wish and aspire for something, but also work with a resolve for achieving it for. God helps those who help themselves. There is much truth in the above adage which describes the types of human being in the world, the wills, the wants and the cons. The first accomplish everything, the second oppose everything and the third fail in everything. Man is a creature basically six feet tall, but he has been able to conquer space and the majestic height of the imposing mountains. He is relentlessly in the pursuit of breaking new grounds not on account of his physical prowess, but because of his resolve and willpower. We all possess this to a certain extent. How great souls have been known to exercise this to the impossible, while left mortals in its absence live an ignoble existence. The so far with a vague mind and will will cannot succeed in life as Victor Hugo rightly said. People do not lack strength. They lack the will. It is in meeting challenges and facing our ad adversary that we improve ourselves. He that results with our strength and our nerves sharpens our skills. Our antagonist in our, is our helper, said Edmund. Meeting challenges is the essence of life. We would not be privy to such spectacular developments had our great predecessors not overcome. Posed to them by nature. There is, in fact, nothing impossible to achieve, and Napoleon rightly said, the word impossible exists in the dictionary of fools. The history of mankind is replete with instances of how ordinary people achieve great things by dint of their willpower. The pioneers of aviation, the Wright brothers, had their limbs broken but they did finally succeed in achieving their dream of flying. Such heroes are my ideals and place me firmly in the category of the wills. To me, life is a challenge to be faced boldly and optimistically. It is this attitude which makes me see an opportunity even in a difficult situation. The words of Disraeli inspire me when we, he said, Success is the child of audacity, molded by opportunity. The never say die attitude impels me to take on the toughest of challenges, for I know that my efforts will not be in vain. The thoughts of failure does not dawn me, for I believe it is a stepping stone to success. I have confidence in myself and I am convinced that my perseverance will sooner or later bear fruit. I know the value of time, for I say, procrastination is the for time. Thus, time once gone can never be recuperated. Therefore, I believe to act, act in the living present, heart within and God overhead. The desire to excel gives me the self-motivation to face new challenges that life throws at me. The spirit of competition propels me to accomplish great things in life and place me resolutely in the class of the wills. We must therefore not only wish and aspire for something, but also work with the resolve for achieving it. 
for God helps those who help themselves. The owns and the can'ts have no place in the highly competitive world of today. As it is rightly said, great souls have will, feeble ones have only wishes. And wishes we know lead nowhere. subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get instant updates of the video that we post.